to speak presentation college. Anthony Sherwood, one of the former stars, but the new stars this time around. Lazarus in goal. And of course, look out for Caleb Boyce. He would be expected to show the most of the attacking capabilities, while Ada Barkley in central midfield would add to that. Sean Cooper, former national youth coach, will be on the sidelines. Well, when we look at the formation of 4 2 3 1, expect Barkley to be expected to break lines and join Boyce. And of course, the defense is cemented by Cooper at the back and Lazarus is the vocal leader in goal. The Tigers, St. Anthony's College, recent stars, Real Gill, Kaim Thomas, to name a few. You go back, Kenwin Jones and Carlos Edwards. But today, it's a new crop of stars looking to write their names in the headlines. Amari Donba among those. Germany Jackson, you might remember him from some seasons ago. Ishmael Castang would try to keep them out from scoring while Ronald Daniel will be the man on the bench. Of course, Dunbar would be expected to be sweeping behind the back four and Jackson up top to provide the goals. We witnessed in the 90 minutes of this match, Presentation College, to be fair, the ones asking questions early. Germany Jackson called into action. Then there was some headed attempts just wide of the mark St. Anthony's College well not much on the offensive end of the fixture start one forcing Lazarus into a save and then regulation catches on the other end later on in the first half some hopes some ifs some maybes just a promise of the second half that might be brighter it was Jacob, that one cleared off the line from Presentation College. And of course, he was very well involved in this fixture. Dancing with the stars, that was the start of it. And look at that for a dink, just over the top of Germany Jackson's goal. On the other end, St. Anthony started to ask questions. Couldn't find solutions. Even when it came in their back pocket, Samo managed to scoff it. And then this happened. Magic. All our peanut butter jelly sandwiches. SSFL. And there we go. Goalkeeper defender disappearing. And so too the goalless scoreline. 1 0 to Presentation College. Had to be him, Clement. Eight goal of the campaign. Was there to be a response? Well, not the type that would get them on the score sheet. And at the end of 90 minutes, Andrew Samuel had seen enough as he blew time, or call time on this contest. As the numbers will give us a further picture, what took place. Just three shots on, or three shots in total in the first half. That was multiplied in the second, six for presentation, eight for St. Anthony's. Shots on target still really low in this match. More falls though, 10 versus four. And in terms of pres possession, presentation, college, well, a big improvement there, 60% in the second half to get them to that 1-0 scoreline. Hansi Veens is standing by and he's got the man who made a smile with that goal, Clement. Well, James Swan, as you often say, the one stat that matters is the goal stat. Vaughn Clement, your one made the difference today. You are our man of the match, the eighth for the season. Are you eyeing that top goal scorer spot in the SSFL? Well, I would love to win that trophy, but I have to continue working hard for me and for my team foremost. All right, what is the focus of the team at this point? Well, we would love to finish in the first seed of South, so our journey to the South Integral final would be easier. All right, tell us what went through your mind on attacking that goal. Well, I saw the ball come to me. I just had to go past the defender and put it past the goalkeeper in order for us to win the game. And there you have it. That you did. Vaughn Clement, our Sports Max man of the match today with the coaches. We have Brent Sancho. Thank you very much, Hans. Of course, coach. Uh